Hey guys, you know I planted bronze fennel this year for the first time. Well, if you see all of these little yellowish dots on here, these are the black swallowtail butterfly eggs. And you'll see, let's see if I can get it. You see that white butterfly popping around? That's the one that makes the cabbage loopers. They're not a friend of yours. But the black swallowtail is black with the green for the male and blue for the female. Don't ask me why they chose that color, but hey, it's pretty. It's a very pretty butterfly. But see, look at this all over my fennel, which is okay. You know, they'll feed for a few weeks and then they'll go into their chrysalis somewhere. Don't ask me where the wild ones go, but I caught like six of them last time I saw them. And I have two of them that my children didn't kill that are going into chrysalis stage. But I thought y'all would find that really cool looking. But I was actually out here earlier and watched this butterfly start laying eggs and it was so pretty I mean it was just so delicately landing then popping its butt up and popping out the egg and then flying off again just to land again and look around in the garden to find another plant that it could go on let's see if any is on the cilantro let's see oh my goodness that hurts Let's see. we got to be real gentle about it, though. And I don't think there's going to be any on this cilantro. I don't know if they just don't like it or what. But I thought it was really cool. Lemongrass. Pretty lemongrass. Purple ruffle basil. Everything is looking really good. My poor kale. Because of these cabbage worms, they've been just tearing the tar out of it. Oh, and look. That flower is going to open for that pumpkin. Cool. But yeah, I've been going through and checking around for um, the eggs and everything on the cabbage or the brassicas plants. And I've seen a few, which if I find one, I will show it to you. But mostly they like to. Oh, wait. I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is. That is an egg right there. Right there is an egg. And it'll turn into those cabbage looper worms. And all I'm doing is just kind of rubbing it off. And then looking around for more. But look at this. Plants are doing really good. Oh, you little stinker. I mean, don't get me wrong. That little butterfly is really cute. It's got like little gray spots on it. And I have like seven little tomatoes on here. Those are just a couple of them. But there's like seven of them on this plant. Look how purple that's getting already. It's very pretty. And over here on this orange zinger, right down there, I have more coming on. This is really cool. I'm starting to produce stuff. Yeah, it's towards the end of May. But hey, it's all good, you know? Today is what, the 21st? Yep. Today is the 21st. This is the San Marzano. And I haven't seen any on this, but you never know. I mean, look how many flowers are on this one. That's one of the Romas. This is the Roma. I mean, it's tiny, but this is the Roma that actually has a tomato. I mean, but they're getting good size. Look at this. Look how pretty potato plant flowers are. They're very pretty little flowers. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down. 
And I planted a whole bunch of stuff today. So hopefully it'll take off. This is that desert yarrow, desert rose yarrow. Oh, it's so pretty. And it smells so pretty too. Which, here are my strawberries I planted, and all of them are looking great. Woo! Got my heart racing for a second. <laughs> this one is the Mexican chile, and it's still got only one little baby on it. But it's got more flowers coming up, too. Um, this jalapeno has flowers that were starting to open, but they haven't yet. You know, I mean, it's just a matter of watching your plants, which is cool. I'm still not really impressed with the Bilicious, you know? You would think that it'd be bigger than what it is now, and it hasn't really done anything. The zucchini, which I just planted some patty pan and uh, early yellow today, which there's that one. It's coming on good. These poor peas right here, I think they're pretty much done for, for the year. But I've been snacking off of these. Oh, look, there's a pea, which, oh, wow, there we go. There's a good size one I hadn't found until today. I'll let it go and let it become a pea that I can use for seeds. But yeah, I've just been snacking off of this the whole time that it's been producing. Want to talk about some yum? Let's see, what else is doing really good out here? Well, besides my country gentleman corn, and look, these are the sugar snap. And where the ones that are over on the other side have purple and white flowers, these have white flowers. Look how pretty they are. Let's see. There we go. And their peas taste really sweet and have a good green flavor. And yeah. I've just been snacking on the peas. I don't think any of the peas have made it inside the house. Of course, I really haven't had a lot. But I planted... Oh, and I also planted some jack-o'-lanterns. Because my oldest wants some jack-o'-lanterns. I asked him why. He said because they're fun to carve. He doesn't get knives. So I don't know how he would know that they were fun to carve. Now, this orange zinger, I'm not impressed with it. But those two are looking great, you know? See, that's just the thing. I mean, look how close they're planted. You can get all three of them in the shot. But this one just is not doing good. I. It seems to be the ones that I planted on their uh, in a trench down on their sides a bit. Are the ones that are not doing good because see this one is a lemon boy like that one and this one was done down kind of at an angle instead of straight up and down this one's not doing as good as that one now the rest of these all the rest of these have all been done straight up and down so they're being able to get more root surface you know, whereas the ones in the trench are supposed to be the ones that are getting better root surface. But because these go down, I'm ones like this one, they're going down a lot deeper because I only had about that much of the top of the plant above the surface. The rest of it was down below the surface. Whereas on like this one, yeah, I did it the same way, except for that it was done in a trench that was at an angle down. So, like, here, I'll show you. Like, for instance, on this one, here's where the plant is. Its root, its, like, root ball is, like, right over here. 
but this plant just is not doing good. Same amount of mulch, same fertilizers and everything. Everything was done exactly the same on all my tomatoes. Yet, this one is doing very poorly, but those two that I put straight up and down instead of at an angle are doing a whole lot better. I don't know why, but that's okay. The good Lord will tell me. And evidently my plants and the good Lord are telling me put them straight up and down. Like I always have. Yeah, I'm pulling more grass. You know, I was out here this morning and in the middle of the day sweating my butt off. And pulled a ton of grass out. Well, as soon as I walk away, I swear. As soon as I turn my back to walk away, more grass popped up. You know? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I mean, look at this. This was one of the last tomatoes planted. And look how much healthier it looks compared to that. And that was planted back in April. You know, I mean, all of these are doing so much better than these two. And this was planted exactly like this one, except for this one was done at an angle instead of straight down. So there shouldn't be this problem that I'm having with the ones that I did at an angle. Because like I said... Planted exactly the same way. Same amount of fertilizer. Everything. I mean. It's crazy. Ugh, got that grass out. Some of this grass is hard. To get out. But yeah. This one and that one will probably get pulled. And my black cherry that I got in my seed bank box. Is probably where I'll plant these. I mean that. I'll probably plant those seeds there. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting happy. <laughs> My plants are producing. Oh look, there's sweet potato. It's growing slowly. It's coming back from after that horrible freeze we had in the last month. But this weather's been weird this year. Usually we aren't getting this hot this fast and then going cold again. You know? But plants had a little frost damage and now they're coming back. You know? These potatoes, some of these potatoes looked really bad. I mean, my zucchini looked horrible after that one frost at the end of April. But they've come back amazingly. You know, even my potatoes have come back amazing. Because, see, this one had the worst frost damage. And look at it now. You can barely tell that there was any. You know? Sorry, I'm looking for grass while I'm out here. But, yeah. These plants look awesome compared to what they did. Oh, look! That's a Concord grape that I had planted last year that I thought was dead. It's come back. Sweet! That is awesome. That is just really awesome. I love seeing plants that are this resilient. You know? This plant was hit hard by that frost. But look at it now. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful plants are a good thing. You know, healthy plants are a good thing. You know? I mean, that sweet potato right there died completely back. But this sweet potato kept growing. You know? Planted the same exact way. Just different sides of the garden. This one didn't get hit with the frost as bad as that one did. You know? But it happens. It's all good. I can't control the weather. I'm not Mother Nature, because if I could, I'd have a whole lot softer light here. 
I wouldn't have as much wind. <laughs> you know? Hey, it's all good. I'm just going to keep planting. Keep growing. Keep looking at my beautiful plants. Even though you can still see the frost damage that was done to this one. But look at it now. It's looking great. You know? Oh. There's one of the Ichiban eggplants that is growing. Hopefully these flowers open soon and I can actually get some eggplants off of them in the not too distant future. Well guys, I'm going to let you go. Have fun. Do your garden your own way. Don't let everybody tell you what to do. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.